Hello everybody, in this module we will be learning about the importance of sauce and its various aspects like usage, flavors, selection of flavor for different type of food etc. A sauce is a rich flavored thickened stock or liquid which is used to give moistness or flavor or otherwise to complement some type of food. A sauce could be a liquid, cream or semi solid food served and it is used in the preparation of other foods. Sauces are not normally consumed as such, instead they add flavor, moisture and visual appeal to another dish. Sauces need a liquid component, but some sauces may contain more solid components than liquid. Sauces are an essential element in cuisines all over the world. The key objectives of this lesson are to learn the different type of sauces and its uses, to learn the preparation methods. Let us see the origin of the word sauce and how and where they are used. The word sauce is a French word that means relish, that is to make the food more appetizing. Sauces are liquid or semi-solid foods, they are mixed or used as topping to make other foods look good and smell and for giving a better taste and also it is more easily digested. Sauces may also be used for savory dishes and even for desserts. They can also be prepared and served cold like mayonnaise. One of the primary component of western dishes is the different type of sauces. Now, let us see the importance of sauce. Sauces are fundamental to continental cooking and it play a big role in the final dish presented. Some important points to learn about sauces are, they are very nutritious, it depends but it is rich in fat, starch and protein. Some sauces help in digestion that is for example mint sauce. They add flavor to the food. They moisture the food which I told you already for example white sauce which is added to vegetables. They give color to the food. They can be the foundation for a dish for example white sauce. When you are preparing uh, pasta definitely you may be using this white sauce. It lend a name to a dish. It balance the taste. It encourages the interest and appetite among the consumers. It contains micronutrients and also it can be fortified to the sauces and can be served. Let us now learn about the five basic sauces, their base, thickening agents and preparation methods. This slide projects the five major sauces and their respective bases. Veloth, it is prepared from a meat or fish sauce from white stock. Spagno, it is a brown heavy meat sauce made from brown stock. Tomato sauce, it is a red vegetable sauce made from tomato puree or tomato juice. Bacamel, it is a white cream sauce made from milk. And Hollandaise, it is a yellow egg sauce made from yolk and butter. Coming to the thickening agents, to understand a sauce making, there are few thickening agents to be understood. Sauces need to be thick to cling to the food. Otherwise, thin liquid will simply run off the food. The thickening agents are necessary to give sauces the right consistency to serve the purpose. Now, let us learn in detail about the very popular thickening agent that is roux. Roux is a French word used for a mixture of one part of cooking fat and one part of all purpose flour. This mixture is fried for short time in a low heat. When this is added to the liquid and brought to boil, it thickens the liquid immediately. Watching and stirring over a low fire is needed. By adding basic roux to various garnishes and refinements, nearly all type of sauces suitable to several cuisines can be made. Only for few special preparations, roux is omitted and white sauces used instead. The finished roux can be kept warm that is close to the stove we can keep and it can be used throughout the day or kept under refrigeration for weeks without spoiling. Roux cannot be eaten by itself, it must always be mixed to some kind of liquid and brought to boil so that the starch get gelatinized. 
hope you all know what is gelatinization. For this reason, roux is called a thickening agent. The best way of using roux is to add warm roux by eye measurements to nearly simmering liquid and stirring until it is smooth in consistency and not to use sizzling hot roux or too cold one in either case it may cause a lumpy sauce. Having studied briefly about the roux, now let us go deeper and study in detail about its preparation. The ingredients used in the preparation of roux are clear fat and all-purpose flour. Coming to the method of preparation, first get ready with the required ingredients. Put all fat into a casserole on a low heat. When it is warm, add flour little by little and keep stirring. Depending on the type of sauce needed, roux is taken off and it is still white in color it depends on the temperature and the time it is cooked or when it is light in golden brown color that is when we cook for a short time it will be white in color when it is more cooked more than 6 to 10 minutes it will become like a golden brown color take it from the heat and cool it about 150 degree fahrenheit now little by little the roux is added to the liquid to be thickened it may be a vegetable stock or a non vegetarian stock or whatever it is then which should be about 180 to 195 degree Fahrenheit so that we will get the proper consistency. Whisk the liquid constantly while adding the roux. Stop adding it when it thickens and has the desired look. Bring it to full boil. Beware of scorching but boiling at least for 10 to 20 minutes is essential. Check the texture of the sauce. Change if it is necessary by adding more roux and more liquid to that. Strain the sauce into a fresh container and keep uncovered in a steam table or store it in the refrigerator. Now you can serve when it is required. In a roux family, there are different variations namely white roux, blonde roux, brown roux and so on it depends on the time and heating which is used in the preparation so it is projected in the slide in the preparation of white roux it is used for white sauce and soups equal quantities of margarine or butter and flour is cooked together without coloring it is cooked for few minutes to get a sandy structure alternatively use polysaccharides vegetable margarine or make a roux with vegetable oil this is used in equal quantities of oil and flour. Blonde roux. It is used for the velopes and tomato sauces. Equal quantity of margarine or butter or vegetable oil and flour are cooked for a little longer time than the white roux. But without colouring to a sandy structure. Brown roux. It is used for spagnol sauce and soups. As we discussed earlier, the brown roux is to be cooked little longer time than the blonde roux. Overcooking of brown roux causes the starch to change chemically and lose some of the thickening property. So we should be careful in this. This will cause the fat to separate from the roux and raise the surface of the soup or sauce being made. It will also cause too much roux to be used to achieve the required thickness and will give an unpleasant flavor. We will learn about starch, its sources and importance in sauce making. Starch is a complex polysaccharide found in all parts of the plant that stores plant food. It is an important ingredient or important nutrient for human consumption as it reaches with body enzymes to produce sugar. That is the polysaccharide starch when it is hydrolyzed it will produce disaccharide and disaccharide will be converted to monosaccharide like sugar and it is absorbed into the blood. There are many kind of starch for cooking purpose the cornstarch, arrowroot flour, tapioca and so on they are commonly used starches. Starches are made into paste with the cold liquid and then added to the boiling stock to form the final sauce. The starch gives sauce the viscosity and the consistency. 
Egg yolk is added to many of the sauces. It is one of the popular thickening agent which is used in sauce preparation. Egg yolks are added to the finishing agents to warm sauces or soups for thickening or binding. Egg yolks are first whipped with a wire whisk and then it is made into a cream and added to the dish. A cup full of hot liquid is gradually whisked into yolks to temper them. This mixture is then stirred into a sauce and cream can be used to thicken the sauce. Butter is used not only to thicken the sauce but also to enrich the nutritive value of the sauce. Butter is added to the warm sauce and it is stirred with a whisk gently to give a desired consistency. Vegetable purees, it is one of the most healthy thickening agent in the preparation of sauces. Hope you know what is a vegetable puree. They are made by making diced cooked vegetable into a pulp and then passing it to a sieve that is getting a proper consistency liquid. Herbs are added to given variations to enrich the taste and to increase the nutritive value also. The puree is added to the sauce and vegetable gravies as a thickening agents. This is a popular modern method for health conscious people. Finished sauce structure is projected here. Coming to the glazes, glazes are used to improve the flavor and used to improve the consistency of the product also. For example, fish glaze in white sauce. They are made by boiling white or brown beef stock or fish stock and then allowing them to reduce the sticky or gelatinous consistency. They are then stored in jars and after cooling it can be kept in a refrigerator for a period of one week so that the shelf life can be increased. If they are to be deep frozen then place it into a small jars which have been sterilized. By deep freezing it can be stored for a month or little longer period. Having studied about the thickening agents and glaze, now let us look at the factors that influence the quality of the sauce during its preparation. Sauce texture itself is a value judgment differing from cuisine to cuisine and from chef to chef. It must be understood that two quarts of sauce simmering in a saucepan for five minutes will have a different texture than two quarts of sauce simmering for five minutes in a nine inch tapered saucepan. So there is a difference between these two. The quality of sauce depends on the quality of the stock simmered slowly with the proper ingredients and the quality of the fat used for the preparation and the care extended to this row. Now let us learn some of the ways to use and preserve the sauce. The guidelines are all sauces can be blended with other sauces, cream, sour cream, wine, juices, purees, eggs, cheese, butter, condiments and so on. Sauces should be blended with the dish in small quantity at the same time of serving. Garnishes must be heated before they are added. Garnishes must be edible and appealing that is more important and sauces are reduced that is concentrated by simmering. Sometimes diluted stock, they may be diluted with uh, stock that is vegetable or non-vegetarian and it can be taken off from the heat to prevent curdling. Now let us take a look at the comprehensive steps right from the preparation and to the serving of sauce. Recommendations are keeping the sauces fresh that is most sauces can be held at low temperature until ready to serve. It will lead to a formation of a skin of hardened layer of the sauce. Plastic wrap can be floated at the top of the sauce to prevent this that is the thickening top layer can be prevented or the same sauce can be skimmed prior to serving. 
advanced preparation. Most sauces can be prepared and frozen for future use. It is done, so it should be done in small batches like ice cubes, tray, it will work well and care should be taken when reheating. Some sauces such as hollandaise are hard to preserve but if reheated gradually over a double boiler may render a palatable result. Ingredients Many of these sauces have very few components and thus it is crucial to use only the finest and fresh ingredients. The difference between a good and great hollandaise depends on the quality of the butter used. A finishing touch a final part of good quality butter stirred in the product at the same time in the last moment before serving adds an appealing gloss to the sauce. It is very important. Let us look at some of the types of sauce and its preparation methods. The ingredients and method of preparation of white sauce is as follows. When preparing the basic sauce, it is important to use the correct proportion of butter and flour. As a thumb rule, always use the same number of tablespoons of butter as of flour. The ingredients used in the preparation of white sauce are butter, flour, fresh cream and egg yolk. Coming to the method of preparation, first melt the butter over a low heat but don't allow it to turn brown very cautious you should be very cautious in this stir it in flour add constantly the fat for after cooking after few minutes then when it turns brown take it out remove the moisture called roux from the heat and allow to cool slightly gradually beat the warm stock with the whisk until it is smooth return the cooking pan to a heat and stir constantly with a metal spoon. Now simmer gently for about 20 minutes. Add the cream and bring the moisture to boil. Finally season with the salt, freshly ground white pepper and lime juice. Beat together an egg yolk with double cream. Stir some of the hot sauce into your egg yolk and cream mixture. Pour the mixture into your hot sauce and bring it to boil. Now stir in a very high speed that is vigorously. This sauce is especially delicious if it is pressed through a fine sieve. Pasta prepared with white sauce tastes better. Another popular sauce used in spaghetti with tomato sauce. The ingredients used and method of preparation are given here. That is. The ingredients used are spaghetti to, uh, 225 grams, tomatoes 400 grams, butter 20 grams, spring onions, garlic, water, pepper, salt and for garnishing we can use spring onions and grated cheese also. Coming to the method of preparation, place the butter in a large bowl, add onions, garlic and saute well. Blanch, peel, de-seed and chop the tomatoes. Now add basil, salt and pepper. Add water to make it to boil for 10 minutes. Stir twice during cooking. If necessary, you can stir more. Place spaghetti in a plate and pour the sauce above that. Garnish with chopped greens of spring onions and serve with grated cheese. One of the most basic sauce available and the most popular among the kids is tomato sauce. The ingredients used for the preparation of tomato sauce are tomatoes, butter, finely chopped onions, finely chopped garlic, water, tomato puree, sugar, pepper and salt. Coming to the method of preparation, take a pan, put butter and then add onions, garlic to that. Now blanch, peel, de-seed and chop the tomatoes, puree, add sugar and water, season with salt and pepper. This is the second step. Then leave it to cool slightly and then puree is taken using a blender. 
pour the sauce in a bowl reheat for 2 more minutes and then adjust the seasonings according to the taste serve with hot deep fried items like samosa spring rolls puffs etc one of the popular western sauces based on meat and oil is the italian sauce the ingredients used in this kind of thing like sweetened sour sauce are onion carrots capsicum oil if you want you can add sesame oil soy sauce tomato ketchup vinegar pineapple slice in a syrup that is a preserved pineapple and corn flour the steps to be followed in making the sauce is as follows peel and roughly chop the onions peel and cut the carrots into strips deceive the capsicum and then cut it into strips take out the pineapple slice from the syrup and cut it into small pieces now you have to retain the syrup also stir in oil and the sesame oil into a bowl with carrots capsicum and onion meanwhile blend the soya sauce tomato ketchup and vinegar with corn flour and pour it into the pineapple syrup stir the cooked vegetable and pineapple slices into a sauce one of the types of sauce using fruit as a base is the orange sauce the ingredients and the way of preparation are given here the ingredients used are orange juice orange rind grated sugar corn flour and butter in a bowl mix sugar corn flour and grated orange rind now pour the orange juice gradually heat it for 3 minutes finally add butter and cook it for 2 more minutes now it is ready to serve coming to the preparation of white sauce the ingredients used are butter flour milk and small onions peeled pepper cloves salt and for coating consistency we can use butter flour and milk again in coming to the method of preparation put butter in a glass bowl stir in flour and then stir it in milk and finally mix well add the onions with cloves keep at high flame for 5 minutes cook thoroughly and then it is ready for serving for cheese sauce add 50 grams of grated cheese and a pinch of mustard to white sauce and keep it in low flame only the difference is we'll be adding cheese to this coming to the custard sauce the ingredients used are custard powder sugar milk and cream first put the custard powder and sugar into a mixing bowl mix with a little milk till it is smooth until you get a cream consistency now pour the remaining milk in a glass bowl and then heat it for 2 minutes pour hot milk onto the blended custard powder and mix well heat it for 2 more minutes finally whisk well and let it cool for 10 minutes finally add cream and mix thoroughly serve hot and it can also be served cold also after refrigeration we can serve coming to the chocolate sauce the ingredients used are corn flour cocoa powder sugar milk and butter put the corn flour and cocoa powder sugar in a bowl and blend it together with 100 ml of milk to make it into a smooth paste now stir the remaining milk and the butter heat for 4 minutes to get a thick sauce and stir continuously allow it to set and then finally serve to conclude nowadays sauces are also widely used in indian cuisines and all over the world few cuisines could not do without variety of sauces i think all of you agree this if sauces are planned and prepared with care it increases the acceptability of the product and also it increases the nutritive value
தேங்க்யூ